Bring the magic home with RCA. Okay, guys, I have not fired up my RCA CED player in, well, quite a long time. It's been several months since I that I can remember that uh, since I've done, uh, watched a video on it. Uh, actually, I think it might have been a couple months ago, maybe three, that I was watching uh, the Ten Commandments. Because I had just bought a brand new factory sealed uh, CED. And uh, so if you buy them new, uh, they tend to play a lot better than some of the older uh, CEDs. But let's bring out one of my very favorite, all-time favorite movies. Star Wars. Now, this is um, one of the best movies of all time. So, let's go ahead and put in the old RCA Select Division. So, First, what we have to do is hook it up, which we have. I've hooked it up by RCA connector. So we have to bring this down to the load. And you'll see the little L that stands for load. And so it's ready for me to insert the caddy. Now, they made the discs inside of a caddy because they're so sensitive to dirt and scratches. So, they didn't want them being touched by human hands. There we go. There it goes. This is the before, before special edition. This is when Han shot first. But the unfortunate thing is, yes, it is pan and scan. And yes, it is time compressed. So the CED versions were time compressed, unfortunately. Um... But the Laserdisc ones, they had some that were not. Um, most of the Laserdisc ones, like the special, or the, uh, the Faces edition, are not time compressed. There are several different releases of Laserdisc. This movie was released many times on Laserdisc. It had so many different releases. You had uh, the Definitive Collection box set, you had a Special Edition box set, you had a, a Japanese uh, Special Collectors uh, import box set. You, th there were so many cool um, things. You know, that picture is pretty good, actually. Um, I think I actually have two of the Star Wars, and I think because one of them one of them, the discs didn't, disc didn't play, it skipped, and the picture quality was terrible. Uh, but this is, uh, the better one. This is the best copy that I have. And this one doesn't seem to be having problems with skipping like, uh, the other one did. Make the mellow yellow move, know what I mean? Yeah, my brother was telling me. Oh, you shouldn't drink so much soda, you're gonna get diabetes. And I said, so why do you drink soda? <laughs> no, actually, uh... He's, he's went to uh, drinking water. He said, yeah, you, you can get diabetes drinking that much soda. 
Well, there's people that drink a lot of coffee, and I just happen to drink a lot of soda. Yeah, I could, the possibility of diabetes is always there, but, you know, I don't, I'm not worried about it. But when I'm watching a good movie like this, I like to have my Mellow Yellow right beside me. Yeah, this is such a great opening scene. I mean, just, this is a great shot. You know, the, the technology was so terrible back then, but George Lucas really did a good job of all these special effects for the, for the technology that was available at the time. Um, he did a fantastic job. And look how well this disc plays. And do you want to know why? Because if you've got a disc that skips quite a bit, it's because you've got dirt on the disc. So by playing the disc several times, the stylus will actually uh, start to push out some of the dirt out of the grooves so that's just a little trick that i learned that if you play the disc multiple times um it really uh helps to kick the dirt out of the, out of the grooves i know it sounds weird but it does work i have done that Now, here's something else to take in mind. That the, the quality of uh, CED is, well, people say it's about VHS quality. Well, no, it's not. It's actually more like Betamax quality than it is VHS. The picture is slightly sharper. I can't show that for very long, but uh, I'll do that. But anyway, um, the the quality is a little bit sharper than a VHS. Um, and I would say it's more closer to beta than it is VHS. If you have really bad picture quality on your player, then either your disc is not good uh, or your player has got something wrong with it because the picture should not be uh, really, really bad. Now you can see here that this disc has some flashes of graininess and that's because of dirt there is, you know, still dirt on the disc. You know, playing it multiple times will help get most of the dirt out, but you're still gonna have dirt. The, these machines were very uh, fidgety. They were very fidgety. They just didn't have um, the stabilization that laser discs had. They didn't have the quality that Laserdisc had. Um, but I think that when these discs were new, I don't think the problems that I'm having were there when it was new. I think when the product was new, um, I think it was fine. I don't think it skipped at all. I think that, uh, you know, the technology is just so old that, you know, they just don't work like they used to. Is there a way to restore and refurbish the machine? Yeah, there is. There's people that do refurbish uh, CED players. And as far as the discs go, they put a silicon uh, type grease on the discs from the factory. And um, once that oil dries up, 
the disc will not play very well. It'll skip more and more and more the more the oil dries up. And the dust and the dirt will cause it to skip. There's all kinds of reasons why CED will skip. <clears throat> and main reason is dirt. Second reason, scratches. Okay. And, I, you know, I would say the third reason is because the lubrication that was put on from the factory uh, has dried up. It's starting to dry up, you know, so. And don't ever take them out of the caddy. If you take the disc out of the caddy and it's exposed to the air, the elements, you will destroy that disc. Not only will you get dirt and dust on it, but you will get fingerprints on it. And these discs are very fragile. I have uh, seen, I've seen stupid people on eBay selling a CED, taking the discs out of the caddies and showing a picture of them. Now, how stupid is that? You want to know why it's stupid? Because that ruins the disc. The disc will no longer play correctly if you pull them out of their caddies and you touch them with your fingers. If you're going to pull the disc out of the caddy to clean, you want to use rubber gloves. Don't touch it with your bare hands. But there's not any reason to take it out. There's no reason to touch the disc. There's no reason to to clean the disc because you can't clean them. You cannot clean them because they are sprayed with a special lubricant from the factory. If you remove that lubricant, then it's not going to play. It will skip. And this is something that most people don't understand about CEDs. CEDs were very, very touchy and very um, sensitive to dust, scratches. They're very sensitive discs. So, but they still do perform well. They still have good quality. It's just not laser disc quality. It's secondary quality to laser disc. Laser disc has around 425 lines. Uh, CED has around 240. So that's why the quality isn't as good as a laser disc, because laser disc has twice the quality, twice the lines of resolution. Plus, Laserdisc has digital sound, where CED does not. CED either has mono, uh, analog mono, or analog stereo sound. And I don't want to get hit with a copyright, but uh, I just wanted to... See if this thing still was working. Now, it is. And uh, this is the better copy that I have. Like I said, the other disc doesn't work hardly at all. They don't work very well at all. But this particular one does work really well. Because I have played it uh, several times when I first got the discs too. Because I knew that the stylist would not only play the movie, but it would push out any dirt particles that might get in between the grooves. Now, the grooves are are probably 30 times smaller than the groove on a record. I would say 30 times, maybe 50 times smaller than a record. Because the groove of the record you can see. You really can't see the width of the groove on a CED because, because it's so small. And the CED discs were um, designed to play uh, about 500 times. 
uh, 500 times was the average um, amount that you could play. These discs do wear out, just like videotape. CEDs wear out. They can wear out. They will wear out. But I don't think they'll wear out. Um, I don't know. It just depends on how many times it's played. But mine don't seem to have too much problems. <clears throat> mine seem to be okay. But I do have some discs that are wore out. And you can tell they're wore out. Because they do nothing but skip, and the picture is terrible. And that's how you know you got a wore out CD. If this CD was wore out, it would not play. It would be skipping like mad. It would skip like mad. The picture quality would be horrible. But this actually does show some form of uh i don't want to call them dropouts but it's they look they look similar to how videotape looks when there's a crease in the tape and you'll see a dropout i mean ceds don't have dropouts well they do it's just they kind of look a little bit different but uh, yeah the stylus touches the disc and that's why they wear out it's just like in a, a vinyl lp that wears out when you play it too much because the stylus actually physically touches the disc that is why they wear out and that's why videotapes wear out because with vcrs the videotape is constantly making contact with the head and the head drum. And it's constantly making contact with them. And so that's why tapes wear out. But I think, I don't know, I think tapes would probably, they probably wear out faster than a CED will. But, um, you know, RCA just didn't get it out they didn't get the market out. They didn't get it out in time. They, they, it was really late by the time they got the technology released. I think they wanted to release it back in the 70s, but it wasn't released until 1981. And uh, that was... 81... Um, that was uh, five... These things came out five years before I was born so um I was they came out in 81 and I was born in 86 <clears throat> oh yeah this is a great movie now hopefully YouTube won't copyright me but well let's take a look at the the caddy I just wanted to power this thing up and I don't know if I have powered it up recently. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I mean, I do have, um, sometimes I can't remember, but because I do so many videos and stuff, it's hard to remember when I last used something if I haven't used it in a while. It's cool that they had these droids. Now, how far are we from having droids? Well, we know we have them in the movies, but I think that maybe in real life, maybe we'll have droids in some point in time. <laughs> you see where the disc skips there? Because there was dirt... Well, here's the the movie. This is the, the cover, the caddy. And basically, it's a decal sticker. 
it's just a great big giant sticker um, that's been uh, glued to the plastic caddy. But you have all of your uh, details about the movie. You know, it is amazing that something from the early 80s is still able to play. And by the way, the CED player and uh, discs, they were actually made in the U.S. So they were made in uh, Indiana. They had a plant in Indiana. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, these were made in the U.S., which is really cool. And that's why they still work, because they were made in the U.S.A. Why? Because we had pride in what we did back then. Now we don't. There's no pride in anybody's work anymore. And Japan was the same way. The Japanese people had pride in what they did. Now, I think the Japanese people did a little bit better job engineering stuff than the U.S. did, but uh, when it comes to the U.S. and Japan, we're very similar as to how we, you know, the quality of work and, and, and the quality of the items and stuff. I mean, hey, you know, we're, we're, we have pride in what we do, you know, at least we used to. Nowadays, you got these damn millennials that all they want to do is uh stand sit around and in mom and dad's basement and play fucking video games all day you know kids don't even want to work nowadays they just they think uh they should just uh stay at home and do drugs and it's really sad how society has changed just really sad what what has happened to uh society and what has happened to humanity Anyway, I just wanted to see if this old uh, CED was still kicking, which it is. Um, the only thing I will say about the player is that my RF uh, output is not working correctly. Um, the colors and stuff are not quite right when I do the uh, RF. It's not really that the, the colors aren't right. It's more or less the, the graininess. The picture is like a really, really snowy looking when I hook it up through the RF. So one of these days I'll take it apart and uh, do, you know, take a look at the uh, tuner. Uh, take a look at the, the RF out and see if there's anything I can do. It might just have some caps or something that have went bad. I mean, having capacitors from the 80s, you know, there's there's bound to be some that are bad. <clears throat> I would like to do a full restoration on that player one of these days. If I can ever get around to it. I got so much going on right now. I've got a... Still got a laser disc player I gotta fix. I've got a... That 5000, I still have to finish working on that. I'm gonna finish that hopefully by the end of the week and uh get that up and going and uh get that uh fixed i done the well you seen the video i just posted about the sl uh s600 that uh customer brought in so Got another customer bringing in another machine soon, too. So, um, I think the guy had a, what was it, a 900? He said he wanted to have repaired. Sometimes you have people that uh, are serious about having stuff uh, sent for repair. And then you have people that are just basically tire kickers just kicking around to get a price. Or they have intentions, high hopes, and want to have it fixed, but can't afford to. So, But yeah, this disc does still have skipping problems. If I had a new disc, I don't think the disc would uh, 
skip at all. Well, it probably still would, but I don't think it would be as bad. I think if I had a... I, I wish I had a sealed uh, Star Wars. You know, maybe maybe that might be something I'll do is uh, take a look and see if I can get a sealed uh, copy of uh, Star Wars. That would be awesome. Now, there's still a lot of new old stock CEDs floating around on eBay. There's tons of them floating around. Oh, one thing else to note is that this has, um, instead of CBS Fox, it has the 20th Century uh, Fox video logo on it. That's something I just now noticed. I never looked at that before, but it's got the 20th Century Fox instead of CBS Fox. It has 20th Century. Capacitance Electronic Disk System. Oh, packaging, copyright, 1982, 20th Century Fox Video Incorporated, and Lucasfilm. All rights reserved. Manufactured in USA. Distributed by 20th Century Fox Video Incorporated. Uh, Firmington Hills, Michigan. Oh, okay, so this uh, disc, maybe it came from Michigan. But yeah, see, I knew these were made in USA. Now, as far as the RCA goes, um, the Hitachis are made in uh, Japan. There are other manufacturers of the CED format. There were other companies, like uh, Sanyo was one of them. I know Samuel made uh, a few CED players. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video of uh, me just taking a quick look at uh, good old Star Wars on CED. And I'm going to continue watching this film. And uh, you guys have a good day and... Have a good week, because it's now Sunday. It's, uh, well, now it's Monday, because it's after midnight. It's 4 a.m. in the morning, so it's now Monday. The weekend is over, so hopefully you guys will have a good week, and, uh, have a good, uh, weekend next week. Bye-bye. This is the Betamax Man, signing off.